Hello, my name is Chloe, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to bring to you an unhaul. So I've only ever done one of these um, and I've basically just been procrastinating revising in any way possible and today that meant sorting through my books. Um, there's quite a lot here, I'm not sure exactly of the number but we will get one at the end. Um, and I'll just start talking about them because there's a few. So the first book I got rid of I actually don't have in front of me and that is The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. I sent this to Brittany um, with a couple of my thoughts in so I've sort of unhauled it without meaning to unhaul it because I've sent it to Brittany um, but obviously she will be keeping it so it's not on my shelves anymore. I will link the video where she got my package with this in um because i think that video really needs some love and i was very happy with what i sent her so i want other people to see it um but moving on from that our first book is rubber necker by belinda bauer this i've already read as part of the owls readathon and um, i can link the vlog where i read this book um but this is a thriller with a guy with asperger's in is the main character um and I really enjoyed this, I gave it a three and a half, four star rating, but I know what happens, so I'm not going to read it again, so I'm going to get rid of it so it has a better home to go to. So, might as well stop making a pile. The next book is Falling Through Clouds by Anna Chilvers. Again, I read this during the first part of The Owls. Um, this I didn't really like too much. This is a story about a man with PTSD, um, pretty much, and I found it a bit too confusing it might be my own understanding of the book or the way it's written. I didn't really like it, um, but that doesn't mean that someone else won't. I forgot one book as well, bear with. Okay, so I'm actually um, unhauling the first two books in a series, um, and that is Divergent and Insurgent by Veronica Roth. I'm currently reading Allegiant, um, and I'm enjoying it, but I have these copies are different editions and then I have a hardback without a dust jacket for Allegiant um, so they don't all look the same which might be a bad reason to get rid of them but I'm just not really I'm enjoying them but not enough to keep these on my shelves forever I think I might have actually given Divergent five stars maybe I should keep Divergent I'm gonna keep Divergent I'm gonna get rid of Insurgent because if I really need jump back into the story I'll go with Divergent I'll hang on to that getting rid of Insurgent next book I have is The Honey Queen by Kathy Kelly this is a book I got a long time ago um, in a giant unboxing I did of adult books and I've been keeping it on my shelf for some reason and I don't think I'm ever going to get to it um, same thing with a book called Foursome by Jane Fallon I thought that um this was going to be something that it wasn't. I haven't read it, um, but I just saw Rebecca, Daniel, Alex and Isabel have been best friends since university. It, one of the couples, two couples, four best friends, a million little lies. I thought it was going to be a sex thing, if I'm quite honest, um, which is the only reason it was in that big unboxing. And the only reason I held on to it would be like a smutty read. And that's not what it is. So it can go. We have A Bit of Earth by Rebecca Smith. Again, from the big unboxing, not sure why I've had it for this long. It can go too. Oh, that part's gonna go. Got some stability. Um, we've now got Abattoir Blues by Peter Robinson. Again, in the big adult box, some sort of thriller. It sounds quite gory from what it is. Um, so just really not my, not gonna keep it, not gonna read it. One, <laughs> Big Brother by Lana Shriver. I know this is the person who writes um, We Need to Talk About Kevin, which I did try to read once and ended up just watching the film. That's mainly the reason I held on to it because of the author, but I'm just not interested. I don't even know what it's about. Moving on to some books I have read. I have the entire Hush Hush series by Becca Fitzpatrick. This was disappointing. So I think I gave number one, five stars. Then I think I slipped to four. Then I slipped to three. Then I slipped two. There is a lengthy Goodreads spoiler filled review on this one. It annoyed me so much that I wanted to get rid of the three before it. 
Um, but then I'm never gonna just reread the first one. I have read it twice now. Um, don't care for it. It was cute when I started reading it. And then the last book just had so many things wrong with it that it drove me insane. So they are all welcome to go. We haven't re read actually. I have not the week. This year's book. Um, I it definitely wasn't this year. Me and Will found this in 2009. It was published. Me and Will found this in a charity shop, and it was just gonna. I had a quick flick through it. Read some of the funny things. Um, like we've got 23 unlikely things to hear on a holiday program. Unlikely property magazine adverts. It was funny when I got it. Never gonna sit and read the whole thing. Thing with oh, bags gone. Same thing with the book of general ignorance. Um, QI book. We got this because we thought it'd be funny. I can see I've read two pages of it. I don't need to keep it around, keeping up space if I'm never actually going to read the whole thing. Um, another one I've got, which I have, I've skim read the whole thing. Crap CDs by Jenny Crompton. Um, I actually got this as a present and it was funny. I enjoyed my time reading parts of it but I'm not going to sit and read the whole thing. It's um, real things that people have written in cover letters, CVs and funny things that have happened in HR. So yeah, it's cool, but I'm not going to sit and read every single page. Now onto books I have actually read. First one being The Sun Is Also A Star by Nicola Yoon. I've read this, did I read it for a reason or did I just read it? I think I just read it. Um, and the film is coming out soon or has come out i'm a bit behind and i liked it but i didn't like it enough to to keep it around i think the cover's gorgeous um if i had more space i'd be hanging on to it but it can go and finally the girl on the train by paula hawkins i have read it i didn't love it and again it's a thriller so I can't reread it because I know what happens. Um, doesn't mean I don't think someone else would get some enjoyment out of it. Maybe they would. I know it's some people on this on um, booktube's like favourite thriller ever. Um, but yeah, it just wasn't. It didn't sit completely well with me, and I I, I just didn't enjoy it. So can't read it again anyway because it's a thriller. I know what happens. So that's all the books there. Let me just count them up, including The Secret Garden. Oh, see, I also got rid of um, Asking For It by Louise O'Neill. I read this book last year um, and I was keeping it around because it was a really pretty cover. Obviously, I'll put a cover there so you can see it. Um, and I said, as soon as I need the space on my shelves, I will get rid of it. And I needed space on my shelves, so it's gone. It's actually just over the other side of the room because I just list it on eBay because it's a pretty good, pretty cool book. Um, but yeah, didn't really like it. It's time for it to go. So we've got Secret Garden, Asking For It, and then I'll count these. Okay, so there's 19 books here, which isn't as big as my last unhaul. I think I got rid of 39 books last time. I could definitely find books in this room that I could get rid of, um, but something, make, something makes me not want to. I don't mind hanging on to a few too many books. We'll slowly whittle them down, and that means you get more unhaul videos. And I think that's one of like, a pretty highly watched video for my channel so I'm definitely fine with putting more of these videos on but let me know if you are in the UK and you fancy any of these um because I'm happy to send them out to you just for the cost of the shipping so drop me a comment if you want any of these just drop me a comment if you like it um, and you'd like to read it to be honest if you know someone else who would like it and you want to get it for them just just do it i will send it to you for postage <laughs> um which if it's just one of these is not going to be that much i don't know whether i'll be listing the whole of the hush hush series online for sale because that might make sense um but yeah so hopefully hopefully someone will want that i want someone to enjoy it it just wasn't for me but thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one